Okay, this is about ways to express reasons for doing something and purpose for doing something. And we're talking about three different ways to express that kind of idea. And actually, we have other ways in English, but this lesson is about three of them. The first is using a subordinator or subordinating conjunction, and you put these together to make a complex sentence with an adverb clause. We've studied this already. For example, we came to the U.S. because our relatives were already here. Here I have subordinator and complete sentence and a complete sentence. He came here because he couldn't find a job in his country. Okay, there's your subordinator and you've got Complete sentence and a complete sentence. Many people cannot get immigrant visas since the U.S. limits the number of applicants it will accept. And here's a subordinator. I'm using since to mean because in this sentence. Many people decide to immigrate so that their children will have a better life. So that, this phrase, two words, so that, is an a subordinator that introduces an adverb clause. So the second half of the complex sentence, the sentence that comes after the subordinator, is an adverb clause. And remember that the adverb clause can move to, be to the beginning of the sentence. That's how you know it's an adverb clause. Because our relatives were already in the U.S., and you see that now there's a comma, we decided to come here because he couldn't find a job in his country, with a comma. He came here. Since the U.S. limits the number of applicants it will accept, there's a comma, many people cannot get immigrant visas. So that their children will have a better life, a comma, many people decide to immigrate. Okay, the word so is very tricky. I'm sorry about this. It's one of these silly, tricky things in English. Uh, as you ha know, so is also a coordinated conjunction. It's one of the fanboys. And when you use it this way, it combines two complete sentences to make a compound sentence with a comma. They wanted their children to have a better life, comma, so they immigrated. And this is a compound sentence using the coordinating conjunction, one of the fanboys. However, so that is a subordinator that combines two sentences using an adverb clause, and this makes a complex sentence with so that, that phrase. They immigrated so that their children could have a better life. In this case, you don't see a comma because this is a subordinator introducing an adverb clause, and you can move this to the beginning of the sentence so that their children could have a better life, comma, they immigrated. Up here, where you're using this as a conjunction to make a compound sentence, you wouldn't do that. And with so, it even gets worse than that. Okay, so that is a subordinator that combines two sentences using an adverb clause. Okay, with the sentence, they immigrated so that their children could have a better life. But in conversation, we often omit that from this kind of sentence, using so as a subordinator. So you will hear people say they immigrated so their children could have a better life. It's kind of informal to use so as a subordinator and not as a conjunction, but you do hear people say it. However, in the quiz you're going to take today, don't worry about this. I won't make you answer questions about it. Uh, the second uh, thing we're going to talk about is using a prepositional phrase to express the same kind of idea. And there are two prepositional phrases we're going to talk about, because of and for. And it's confusing because, of course, because is a subordinator that's used to introduce an adverb clause. However, the two words because of are different. Because of is a preposition, and you follow it with a noun or a noun phrase. And here are some examples. The Irish came here in the 19th century because of the potato famine. 
This is a preposition, and there's a noun phrase. The Bosnians left because of war in their country. This is a preposition, and there's a noun. Okay. The Irish came here in the 19th century because of the potato famine. And the Irish came here in the 19th century because there was a, debate, a potato famine. Those two sentences mean the same thing. But with after because of, you have noun. And after because, you have a complete sentence. So that this makes an adverb clause. Same thing happens here. The Bosnians left because of war in their country. That's, an, uh, that's a prepositional phrase. The Bosnians left because their country had a war. Here, because alone is a subordinator beginning an adverb clause. And you want to be very careful. The, the Irish came here in the 19th century because the potato famine. The Bosnians left because of their country had a war. These sentences are not correct. And these, in fact, are mistakes that people learning English make a lot. It's confusing because and because of. And I've got two stars here to show you that these two sentences are wrong. Okay, another thing we do to express intention or reason for something is to use an infinitive. The infinitive is the word to plus the base form of the verb. For example, in the late 19th century, many Jews left Russia to escape religious persecution. This is the infinitive of the verb. Many Chinese young people come to the United States to study. And here's the infinitive of the verb. And in this kind of sentence, we often use in order before the infinitive. So in the late 19th century, many Jews left Russia in order to escape religious persecution. Means the same thing. Uh, many Chinese young people come to the United States in order to study. So, finally, you can see you have got different ways to express the same idea using different grammar. And here are a lot of sentences that all express the same general idea about the teacher's ancestors. Okay, Miss Agard's ancestors came to America because they did not have religious freedom in England. And this is an adverb clause, because they did not have. Okay. They came to America so that they could practice their religion freely. This is another adverb clause with so that and two complete sentences. Okay, in the next box you see ways to express this idea with, pre with prepositional phrases. Miss Agard's ancestors came to America because of, now this is a preposition, religious persecution in England, that's a noun phrase. They came to America for, is a preposition, religious freedom. Okay, and here's the for is a preposition, and there's the noun phrase. And here in the third box, you see ways to express this idea with an infinitive. Miss Agard's ancestors came to America to practice their religion freely. They came to America in order to have freedom of religion. In those sentences, you see an infinitive that's expressing the reason why they came to America.